So, after you download uh, the program, the Modbus Communicator tool, uh, you want to install it here. And wait, please. So we've successfully, successfully installed uh, the Rotomass Modbus tool. Uh, the second, more important step is to have a way to communicate uh, via Modbus with the computer and with the Rotomass. And today we have <coughs> uh, a Black Box uh, USB adapter uh, that is RS422 and 485. So we have simply. Uh, this is from Black Box, but there are several versions of it. Um, this we ha it includes this USB cable, and then you can buy <coughs> uh, any two wire or three or four uh, gauge wire to connect to the actual transmitter. Um, so we have this, and it comes with a driver software as well as a disclaimer for the driver. <coughs> So we have this, and this is connected to my Rotomass, uh, the Modbus outputs, A and B. So my A and B on my uh, Rotomass is connected to my A and B on my black box converter. And then So right now, it is installing the driver software so that I can communicate with this computer. And while it's doing that, we can, so we made a nice icon on my desktop. Uh, but it just installed successfully on COM9. You want to remember what COM it's on because you're going to have to use that later. Um, but here is the Rotomass Modbus communication tool. So we double click it, um, read the license agreement, accept it. So uh, first thing we want to do is check the initial settings on the Rotomass and see what Modbus settings it has in place. So I hold down set. Uh, it asks you if you want settings enabled. I pressed set again. Um, so we want to scroll down to detailed setup. Scroll down with the arrow, the far right arrow, to Modbus communication. Hit set again. So first thing you want to check is your device address, what this is set at. So the device address is 1. And so to escape, we press the left two buttons. And then we scroll down, see what your baud rate is set at. It's set at 38, 400, escape. You can change these, obviously, but they have to match the settings of the Modbus tool or whatever else you're using. Your Modbus mode is RTU. Escape again. And then your data format is even parity, one stop it. Escape again or set if you want it to change it. And then we're going to go, so this isn't required, but if you if you wish, you can initialize the settings you just have, but as you set them and change them, they should have, they change anyway, but this is just another way to make sure they do. 
So you initialize, and then you can either leave it here or just escape back to the main menu or back to the device variables. So if I remember correctly, uh, the device address was 1, our com was 9, the baud rate was 38400, and our data format was even parity one stop bit. So once we hit open serial, we have successfully, so you know you're successful when um, the bottom reads OK, OK, bus an app. Uh, otherwise, there will be errors. Um, so this is, if you've ever used our field configuration tool, Fieldmate or any configuration tool, it should look very similar because the menus break down the same. Um, so here you can change your display, how the unit's displaying. And again, this is this shows that the unit's working. Otherwise, these would all be red if you weren't communicating with it. So this is reading right now, and you can change them, change to whatever you need to change to. You hit apply, and it goes green again. Your display format, and again, this is just all the parameters that you can set with, say, a, a handheld communicator or with Fieldmate communication or any kind of software configuration tool. Um, you can do this with Modbus, via Modbus, with the Modbus tool. And that's, that's basically it. You can check. That's, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something today. And for more information, please visit yokogawa.com slash US.